In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the internal rate of return of a project when there's just a single cash inflow. Now, when a project has a series of cash inflows that are occurring over time, you're going to have to use trial and error or something like Excel to calculate the internal rate of return. But when there's just a single cash inflow where you invest some cash today and you receive some cash at some point in the future, you're going to be able to use this formula to calculate the IRR directly. Okay, so you're going to set this up like this, and I'm going to show you an example in a minute. You're going to solve for the R right here, okay, and that's your internal rate of return. And then you're going to multiply that number by 100 to convert it to a percentage. So let's do an example. Let's say that you invest $10,000 today in a pickleball team, and you expect to receive a single cash inflow of $45,000 one year from today. Okay, so we've got $10,000 going out the door today and $45,000 cash inflow one year from today. Okay, so we're going to use our formula right here and we're going to set it as zero equals the cash outflow, which in this case is $10,000, plus the cash inflow of $45,000 divided by 1 plus R to the nth power, where N is the number of periods in the future that we're receiving this cash inflow. In this case, it's gonna be equal to one. If you weren't receiving that $45,000 until five years from now, then N would be equal to five. Okay, so let's go and let's plug in the numbers into that formula and let's solve this. So first, as I already mentioned, our cash outflow is 10,000 and that is going to be subtracted. That's a negative number there, okay, because that's cash going out the door. Then we're gonna add 45,000 our cash inflow divided by one plus R to the first power. And again, it's to the first power because the cash inflow is occurring one year from today. So I just add 10,000 to both sides of the equation. So now we have 10,000 equal to 45,000 divided by one plus R, okay? Next, what I'm gonna do is multiply both sides of the equation by one plus R. So if we multiply this side by one plus R, okay? So then this is gonna cancel out here, and then we multiply this by one plus R. We're left with 10,000 times one plus R, that's this side over here, okay? And then this side, we just have the 45,000 because the one plus R canceled out, okay? So we just multiply both sides of the equation by one plus R. Now, we, what we do is we take the divide each side of the equation by 10,000, okay, to get rid of this 10,000 over here and isolate the one plus R on that side. So we're gonna divide this side of the equation by 10,000, divide this by 10,000. So the 10,000 goes away here. And then 45,000 divided by 10,000 is 4.5. So now we have one plus R equal to 4.5. So we just subtract one from each side. So it goes away here. And then we subtract one from 4.5 and we are left with 3.5. Now you wouldn't tell somebody that the IRR of a project is 3.5. So what you need to do now that you have this figure of 3.5, and again, that's the internal rate of return, that's the R that would make the MPV of this project equal to zero, you have to multiply that by 100 to convert it to a percentage. So we're gonna take 3.5 and we're gonna multiply that by 100 and that gives us the number of 350. And what this 350 is, is the IRR. So it's an IRR of 350 percent for this project. Now, if you wanted to verify this in Excel, you could verify this in Excel and you see that I've got the cash outflow right here of 10,000 and then the single cash inflow of 45,000. You just want to verify that's correct. Let's type equals IRR, highlight the cash flows, and you see that the IRR of this project is 350%.